Hello and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to remove text from an image inside of Adobe Photoshop 2024. To do this I'm going to be using these two movie posters because the Blade Runner poster should be fairly easy, however the Last of Us poster is a little bit more complex because we have Joel standing in front of the text. Show some love by liking the video below, let's not waste any more time and dive straight in. To get started, we need to make a selection of the text that we want removing. By far, the fastest way to do this is to use the object selection tool. Luckily for us, text usually has a high contrast compared to everything else and that's basically just to make sure it's legible. So the object selection tool should do a good job when it comes to making an accurate selection. To get access to the object selection tool, hit W on your keyboard or go up to the toolbar above. If the cursor doesn't have a small box next to it, you need to hold shift and press W until it does. Now all you need to do is draw a box around the text that you want removing. If you're not going to select all of your text at once like I am, all you need to do is hold shift and then a small plus will appear on your object selection tool and then simply just drag over any text that you've missed out. And that's looking good. Before we remove the text we need to expand our selection. So head up to select in the top, then modify, and then expand. Now you can play around with this, but the idea is you don't want to go too far. So for me, three pixels is enough. After that, we're going to select our marquee tool. So hit M on your keyboard. And then from there, right click your image and we're going down to content aware fill. From there, Photoshop's AI algorithm has already done a great job, so I'm just going to hit OK and that is going to save me a lot of time and hopefully you as well. Now it's not always going to be perfect and there are even some areas in this image where it doesn't look quite right. For example, you can see the hand, a hand has been added towards the left. That's fine. It's really easy to overcome this and usually the generative fill does quite a good job, but there are still some things you may need to do in terms of manual manipulation. So let's move on to the next example where I'll show you what to do if this happens. So how I'm going to tackle this image is I'm going to do it bit by bit. I'm going to use the object selection tool to make a selection of the text, expand that mask, and then I'm going to use the content aware fill. The only difference is with my generative fill layer selected, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool to select the areas of the image and then paint over anywhere where the white from the text is still showing. To use the clone stamp tool, just hit S on your keyboard and then hold Alt or Option to sample an area within your image. And with a soft brush selected, you can simply just paint over these areas. For the last part, I'm going to follow the exact same process, the object selection tool, expand the mask by three pixels. But this time, we don't want the areas of the hair to be covered by the mask. So we're going to have to manually remove this using the lasso tool. Simply make your selection around anything that you don't want to be included in the mask. Once that's complete, all you need to do again is select the marquee tool with M, then right click and go down to content aware fill. And this time the AI hasn't done as good of a job, so we're going to have to deselect some of the areas around the image. Simply paint over any areas that you don't want to be sampled and you'll see the preview update. When you're happy with that, hit OK. For the last part, we're going to use the clone stamp tool again, sample parts of the sky using option, and then carefully paint over any areas that don't look natural. And that's the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like. It really helps to support the channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.